Morning. What's up, YouTube? How's everybody doing today? I am your host, Chef J. Carey. Listen, I got a, I got a special treat for you. This is a special request from my daughter to Sherry on. I had to make sure I put her name in there too. So listen, I got some. What I'm doing today is it's called Southwest Chicken Stuffed Peppers. So as you can see, what I have, I have some corn, I have some tomato paste, and that's gonna come into play real soon. Diced tomatoes, some mozzarella, some onions, black beans, and for a little kick, I got some cilantro. My chicken has already been marinated with some depth, some some spices, black pepper, a little bit of white pepper, paprika, uh, garlic, and onion powder, just for some flavor. Now, I do have a red and, and orange pepper. The color doesn't matter. It's just presentational look. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna detop this take this off and i'm going to show you how even if you have a little rockiness in your pepper how to fix that so as you can see i've already got some some peppers already pre-cut i got my rice already in here my onion my oven is already preheated for my peppers so without further ado let's go ahead and get this thing started so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you this one it stands perfectly but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that top off. And I know I'm using a bigger knife, but um, it's like my favorite knife. And I don't know. I guess I use that better than a, part, than a parent knife. I love it. So um, I take everything out of here. And yes, for everybody, my hands are clean. I've already washed my hands about three or four times already. So that's perfectly cut. I'm going to put that in here. Now, let's get that out the way. I'm going to do the same thing. As you can see, that one is kind of rocky just a little bit. So just to fix that, you go ahead and just take a little bit off just to make it a little, little better. So I'm going to do the same thing. Move that out the way. I'm going to cut this out of here. My, uh, This is... And in my cookbook, Mighty Joe's Master Taste Cookbook. So, um, so if you love this recipe, you can give me a thumbs up on my channel, or you can go ahead and go to Amazon or Mighty Joe's Master Taste Cookbook at gmail.com. Go ahead and audio copy. I got you with the autograph and everything. So, now what I'm about to do is while I get everything else prepared, I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes, let it go ahead and do its preheating cooking. Just to soften up the pepper, you don't wanna eat them. All my fans out there know how peppers taste, so you don't wanna, you don't want a hard pepper. So, turn that on. What I already did was I put my olive oil inside my skillet with a tablespoon of butter and I'm going to let that warm up because as I said before you don't put your product or anything that you're cooking in a cold skillet so it's kind of my fault that I didn't but thank, thank goodness I have one of those ovens that it heats my skillet up real fast so as you can see already my, my butter is already melting so you know um, so we're going to go ahead and put I've already cut my chicken down. I've already seasoned it. I've already prepped it because I don't want you guys going through a long video or, um, you know, I don't want to talk. It's, I don't want to talk as much. So I want that to go ahead and start cooking. And while we get all the pink out of this chicken, let it come to a nice cook, um, a nice heat. I'm gonna pause for a minute and I will be right back and show you how the finish looks to come together. Then we're gonna go ahead and put everything together and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Listen, uh, so my chicken is done. So now I'm about to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put my black beans in there. 
Okay, my onions in there. My onions going. I want to get those nice, nice and translucent. My corn in. I'm going to go ahead and put my diced tomatoes in. Stir this up a little bit. I put my sauce in, my paste in. I should say. I know y'all probably was like, "He making a burrito." No, I'm not. But looks like it though, doesn't it? it? Can. Only thing I haven't did yet, and I'm about to do it in one second. I'm trying to get this, get my onions cooked down and get translucent. I really don't want to. I could have sauteed them, but I really don't want to saute them because when I put them in the oven, I'm going to let the oven do all the work. So, I'm going to slide this over just a little bit, make me a little space. Take my rice. I'm not going to put all my rice in. I already... I had already pre-cooked my rice a little bit earlier. So maybe about, I could have waited a little bit, but I want, I want you to see how I do it so you can get the full effect, you know? And um, yeah. So my peppers are still in the oven. Uh, I checked on them and they're still not as tender as I want them to be. This will be right here by itself. So. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put my, my paste in because I want it to have that color. That I'm that I'm so desiring and looking for, you know. So now, as you see how I did this already, you already got the kind of notation of idea where I'm going with the visualization where I'm going with. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep stirring this, and um, I'm gonna come back. My peppers will be out. We'll be ready to fill them up, put some cheese on, be ready to put them back in the oven, and then we're done. Pull them out, and we're going to be ready to eat. Y'all ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. Let's go. All right, see y'all in a little bit. One. All right, so now, I got, as you can see, I got my peppers out. And, man, they was calling my name already. So, uh, I'm going uh, to let you take a gander, a nice, small look at how this filling has came out. Because we're not going to play no more. We're not going to talk no more. We finna go ahead and fill these babies up, mount it up with some mozzarella. And, uh, you know, I'll let you see how I do one or maybe a couple of them just, you know. So, you know I, have, I have a lot of food here, so you know, I let my wife taste the, uh, take a little small sample of everything. Yeah, I want to, I really said I wasn't going to talk no more, but I got to explain everything to you guys. You know, we're going to fill this up. We're actually filling this up. We're giving it. Because when this, when it come out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show you what it look like. But I'm not going to play no more. I'm gonna get my knife and my fork ready. And, uh, you know, me and my family finna eat. Wish you guys, you guys are my family too. Don't get me wrong, you guys are my family too. So, but I really want you guys, you guys make this dish. And, uh, you know, I really want you guys to enjoy, to get the, the full effect. Mighty Joe's Master Taste. And then, 
And then I want you to go get the cookbook. You know, I got some more stuff coming. For real, for real. And don't worry about the holes at the bottom as you guys would. As, you know, um, because when they come out this oven and that cheese, that cheese closes it up, you're going to be, it ain't going to be, it ain't going to be no talk. oldest daughter is ready you know and I'm I'm really you know kind of my mother-in-law I wish she was here uh, I wish my son was here you know so but you know I got a new I got a new addition to my family and my grandson I call him my grandman. I'm not, I don't call him grandson. I call him my grandman because that's a grown little man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a grown little man. So that's, that's my, that's, that's, that's my dog right there. That's my big dog. I got him a big dog. You know, he tasted, uh, it was something I cooked. Oh, I made my wife a cauliflower, uh, uh, fettuccine Alfredo pizza with spinach. Man, he rose to the occasion. He stood up. He took a he took a bite of that uh of that crust. He was like, mmm. That was all I needed to hear from anybody. Else. Anybody? I, I don't have to cook no more. I really don't. I don't have to cook no more. He he clarified everything. He said, mmm. You know. So. But uh, but yeah. So that just you guys really. Really want the effect of everything. Go ahead and get you some peppers. Um, make this dish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit more right here. This little one, so we pop the, everything in there. So, but yeah. So I want you guys. Let's go ahead and top this off. I think I talked enough. And you guys don't have to be, you know, stingy with the cheese. Right now, I'm just trying to fill it up. Normally, uh, normally I would just get the slices, like mozzarella slices, or maybe some provolone slices, or, or Swiss cheese, or whatever. Whatever the cheese of choice, Asiago. Um, you know, you could just get the whole slice and just cover them and cover them. But me, being being a chef that I am, um, I did graduate from ICE. Is it two culinary of education? So uh, we have to do everything with a prestigious manner, and uh, presentation is everything. And I know I got some cheese falling, but uh, you know, hey, it ain't going to waste. <laughs> so we're gonna put this in in the oven for about a good, and and I mean a good. 15 minutes let it cool off i'm gonna come back you know you guys already see how it's looking so uh i ain't got, like i said i ain't got to explain that no more you know you guys see how it is you know so this is how we're gonna do it i'm gonna put this baby in the oven when i pull it out your mouth gonna water like mine trust me you know so I gotta make that one extra extra special for my my oldest daughter because she said she wanted the green one. So I'm I'm gonna find one thing to hook her up. So go ahead, get your uh your drinks ready, your your, your plates ready, your forks ready, your knives ready. Cause uh when I come back, you guys gonna, gonna be like, man, digging through the digging through the computer or or the screen or YouTube and be like ready to eat, gonna be ready to slice. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Y'all, check it out. I done got the peppers out of the oven. Man, listen, I'm I'm not gonna hold y'all up for real. Cause uh look. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. Man. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I put a little parsley on top of it just to give it some of the greenery color. So uh without further ado, this look, like I said, I'm not gonna talk no more. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab one of these bad boys. 
my embryo plate. So, you grab one of these bad boys right here. Right here where y'all can see me. Gotta get a fork. Like I say, I love using this knife. This is my, this is my Ginsu. So we're gonna, uh oh, sorry. Ooh, hear that crunch. I hear that crunch. Yes, sir. See the smoke coming off? I really should have waited. I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm shaking a little bit, y'all. So. You get it. I'm going to go ahead and just go hood on it. I'm trying to be pretty. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. I'm not even gonna lie, let me turn this baby over. Let me show y'all, let me get y'all on. This chicken right here. Mm -hmm. This is good, ladies and gentlemen. With that cheese. Mm. This, I'm telling you, go ahead and get y'all some a beverage. Make this dish. Comment below. I'm gonna finish this up. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel so y'all can know. Cause I'm telling you, the next video, y'all don't want to miss it. And uh, hit that bell on the side. Hit that ding notification so you'll know when the next video pop up. Uh, I got to go. I'll talk to y'all later. We're going to go ahead and eat. Man. All right. Y'all have a good day.